Are you prepared for the stock market crash? It's in the news almost every day, the impending stock market crash. And we see it in the markets, the volatility, the uncertainty, the US-China trade war. So, are you prepared for the stock market crash? If you are not, you want to stick till the end of the video for tip number one that can not only help you prepare for the stock market crash, but also show you how you can profit from it. Don't forget, if you want to continue to improve in investing and trading, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. Hi, my name is Linus and in this video, I am going to share tips to help you prepare for the stock market crash and how to invest during a recession. Starting at tip number 5, you want to re-evaluate your current positions in the market. If you are already an investor or trader and have existing positions in the market, you want to do a complete analysis of each and every stock that you are currently holding. What I mean by complete analysis is looking at each and every stock you are currently having positions in and do the exact research you do before you buy any of these stocks. Your research would have most likely covered both fundamental and technical criteria. So using the same criteria before you bought these stocks, use this exact criteria to re-evaluate these stocks. If these stocks that you are holding no longer meet the criteria, it's time for you to consider selling and letting your positions go. Because if they don't meet the criteria, and you, if you will not buy this stock, there's also no reason why you would continue to hold them. So tip number five is, Reevaluate all your current positions in the market. Tip number four is you want to set stop losses if you do not already have them in place. I always share that every time you enter a position in the stock market, you want to have a stop loss together with your position. The stop loss is so important because it establishes a price level for us to exit that we determine the moment we enter our position in the market. Whether you are an investor or trader, Having a stop loss is crucial in protecting your capital. If you are an investor and investing for the longer term, you can set a stop loss slightly further away from your entry position, but I highly recommend that you have a stop loss in place. If you are a trader and you are not in the market for very long, you can set a stop loss closer to your entry price. Therefore, regardless of whether you are an investor or trader, in the market for the sh long or short term, you want to have stop losses together with your positions. Tip number four is placing stop losses with your positions in the market if you do not already have them in place. Tip number three is paying close attention to the price action and technical indicators. If you are just starting out investing and trading, price action and technical indicators give us greater insights into the psychology of other investors and traders, how they are feeling with regards to the market, but more importantly, what actions they are actually taking. This is why price action and technical indicators are crucial for investing and trading and separates it from the things you hear from the news, read from newspapers, articles and magazines. Because what you hear from the news, read from newspapers, articles and magazines are just views and opinions of other investors and traders. But the views that these investors and traders share might not necessarily mean they take the actions that correspond to their views and opinions they share to the public. The actions these investors and traders take, however, are all reflected in the price action and technical indicators in the price charts. Therefore, price action and technical indicators give the most accurate reflection of the current sentiments in the market. As such, we should pay close attention to the price action and technical indicators, especially when the recession is impending. The price action and technical indicators will give us a confirmation when a recession starts. So tip number three is paying close attention to the price action and technical indicators. Tip number two is to close your positions one you have, make some profits. This tip is likely to generate some objections because I have received many questions before when I share this with people. Many people tell me, Linus, but what if I close my positions now and prices continue to rise? Wouldn't I miss out on a chance to let my profits run? Yes, if prices continue to rise, the profits you can take will not be as much. However, I would like to ask you a question. If you are already making some profits and have reached your profit target, 
Isn't it better to lock in your profits now rather than lose all of it and potentially even lose money when prices fall? That's the thing with the stock market. No one can predict the direction that prices will go. What we can control is our risk and when we exit. We can take our profits now, when we still have profits, or hope that prices continue to rise even though we know that a recession is impending. Remember that to be profitable in the stock market, we don't have to make huge profits in one trade. What we need to do is ensure that the magnitude of our profits over our journey from our investments is greater than the magnitude of our losses. One way to do this is to take profits when we hit our profit target. So tip number two is to close your positions and take your profits. If you have stayed all the way till this video, the tip that I'm going to share next will provide you with an aha moment. The final tip that I'll share with you will show you how to invest during a recession and continue to make money in the stock market. Tip number one is to start looking for points in the market where you can short the stock. For those of you who just started out investing and trading and are not so sure about what shorting is, shorting is the opposite of buying a stock. Instead of looking for positions to buy, you are looking for entries to short the stock. When you short a stock, you will make money when the market is on a downtrend or a recession. So usually both of them will go hand in hand, but note that either one does not indicate the other. A downtrend does not necessarily indicate a recession, neither does a recession will mean that the market is on a downtrend. If you want to know how to tell when, when the market is on a downtrend, watch my video on Technical Analysis for Beginners 2019 where I share with you how you can identify the trends in the market. I've included the link to the video in the description below and you should see a button at the top right of the screen right now that will take you to that video. Again. A downtrend does not necessarily indicate a recession, neither does a recession will mean that the market is on a downtrend. It is just a higher probability that they will occur during the same period. So, when the market is in a recession and prices are on downtrend, you can short the stock and continue to make money. And that is how you continue to remain profitable when the market goes up or down. If you want to know how to identify whether the market is on an uptrend, or a downtrend, make sure to watch Technical Analysis for Beginners 2019 on the right where in the video, I'll share with you the one tool I use to determine the trends in the market. So make sure you watch that out so you can discover that strategy yourself. To your financial success and I'll see you soon.